the part of being brought up in it, not so important to me. Yeah. I'm also Chinese by the way, half. Yes, I can see because your slang is a bit Chinese. And you say that, you know, you're still stuck with the Trinity. Any, anything that makes you stuck there, actually? I believe in one God, and that's it. Okay. I have a lot of questions on how I was brought up as Christian. I can question all of that. Because I think it's good to question your, your faith. And to come to the answers by you understanding it, rather than a preacher or whatever telling you, this is how you should think. Mm. But when I read the Bible, I've read several times different versions and everything, mm. and then different languages. It doesn't quite tell you the same as what you're taught. Faith. It's more, yeah, getting the right answer. Getting the right answer is no. Where is it pointing? Which way pointing? And where it? Where does God want me? So that that makes more sense. Where do you think now you are heading to? That you're pointing to? I say I'm so stuck in between both. You know, a lot, a lot of Christians that I, I have met, even yeah. in Africa, I went to Peru and Colombia, yeah. uh, other part of the world as well. Yeah. When I ask them, they say they are Christian. Mm. But when I ask them, what is your belief about God? They say, I believe in God. I say, about Trinity? How about Jesus? They say, no, Jesus, I believe Jesus is a prophet. Not son of God? They say, no. Then I say, then how on earth you see a Christian? No, I'm, I'm a Christian. But I said, that's not what Christian believe. No. But you being a Christian today, you are saying you believe in one God, you do not believe in the Trinity, you believe Jesus as a prophet of God, then I say, there is a belief of a Muslim. Oh no, I still, uh, still believe the truth. So no, no, I, I, mean oh, that, yeah, I mean that culturally, culture. culturally, a lot of people, they're still stuck there. Right. They're still stuck there. Because nobody go and explain to them clearly mm. that basically, whatever that they're believing currently, yeah. okay, is the Islamic doctrine. It's yeah. not the Christian doctrine. Yeah. And all praise to God, they easily they can accept Islam. Yeah. They can easily accept Islam. Yeah. Because why? I mean, naturally, they already have the inclinations that, okay, Jesus is not God. Jesus is a prophet. Just the same way that what we as a Muslim believe in. Yeah. And, and, and you say that, you know, you're still stuck with the Trinity. And, and anything that makes you stuck there, actually. The Trinity only really exists is in the New Testament. It doesn't really exist in the Old Testament. No, 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 Unless no. You no. Have the, if you read the very modern version Bible. Yeah. In the Old Testament, it only talks about one God appearing as, like, fire appearing as... Yes. You know, it, it, only, it doesn't say anything about Holy Spirit, does it? No, 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 no. It just says... Uh, it just says about God. One yeah. God. Yeah. That's actually a conflict as well, because the Old Testament, New Testament, is a bit conflicted about its definition of God, right? Now, if the doctrine of Trinity was there since the beginning, mm -hmm. is that one being taught by Moses in the Old Testament? Again, Moses... Moses didn't worship the, the Trinity? The command came directly just from God. Yes. He didn't say... And in okay. Exodus and uh, Deuteronomy, it's very clear. Mm -hmm. For I am your God, thou God, a, a jealousy God, thou should not bow down and to any graven image and make any graven image. Yes, which is what Islam is based on. And... and, and uh, uh, sorry. Uh, but that's why you don't have pictures. Yes. How about Abraham? Mm -hmm. That you know, Christian and Muslim belief. Mm -hmm. How about Abraham? Mm -hmm. Did Abraham worship a Trinity God, or he only worship only one God? When you look into the history, we're talking about the logical and the history. Before Mary gave birth to Jesus, what Mary worship and what Mary believe in? One God. One God. Yeah. So basically, I mean, according to the Islamic doctrine and belief that what you say just now is correct. Mm -hmm. In the book of Matthew, the, the first go four go gospel, they have a variations among them as well. Even the first Peter and the second Peter, even among the scholars of Christian, they disagree. Did Peter really wrote it or someone else in the name of uh, Peter? Correct. Right? I mean, you, you read. I, I, no, no, I, I cannot correct. lie to you. You're, you're correct. You're right? correct. Yeah. That's but, why there's, within the Old New Testament, there's too many Exactly. And we, and we even can say, okay, Roman is a word of Paul, not the word of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So when the word of Jesus contradict with the word of Paul, as someone who follow Jesus and believe in Jesus, the words of Jesus take precedence over the word of Paul first. Yeah. Logically. Yeah. Right? And Paul never met Jesus. No, correct. Paul never met Jesus. Yeah. So we can even see that how Jesus worshiped in the Bible. I mean you have read that. Yeah. yeah. In uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. He put his face on the ground and he prayed to the Father, O oh, Father, remove this cup of suffering, not as I will, as thou will. Yeah. No, meaning he is worshipping God. It sounds like a Muslim who follow Jesus prostrate, Jesus take ablutions. Yeah. Jesus in a, in a gospel, he says Shalom Alaikim. 
Yeah. Right? He went into the room and he saw his disciple and he said in the Hebrew, Shalom Aleikim. Yeah. Shalom Aleikim in Arabic is Salaamu Alaikum. Yeah. Who is using this word today? Yeah. It's, a, it's a greeting of peace. It's a, it's a peace that Jesus wants to bring to his people. Yeah. And that's why in, in uh, John 17, 3, he said this life is eternal. Okay, so they may know you, the one true God and Jesus Christ that you have sent. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Is it quite obvious that Jesus is uh, teaching Trinity or he's teaching about the oneness of God? He's a Jesus that, that God sent. If you take away the New Testament and you look at some old Roman or Greek scholar yeah. who wrote, who, who were there during yeah. Jesus' time and wrote, yeah. they did not quote Jesus' word. But they also wrote about uh, how he just, the description Muslims consistently use is that he was a blessed messenger of God. But for instance, John 3 verse 16 is incorrect. Yeah. It says, for God so loved the world, he sent his only son. Because the son, whosoever believes in him will have an everlasting life and never perish. In the New Testament, in the New Testament Greek language, it doesn't say that. No. It said God sent, God sent this messenger. Yeah. And those who listen to heed his listen to his word that I have given him yep. shall come shall be able to come back to me, can talk to me. Yep. Again it was like I'm sending you the postman. Yep. Open the letter. Actually you're quite convinced yourself. <laughs> Actually you're quite good. with your explanation. It seems to me, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It seems to me you're quite convinced. I mean, I would say at least 80% that, you know, historically a, and logically. I still have a, yeah, I still have an like element of uncertainty. Actually, about two or three of them I already like sorted out during this competition. <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm balancing more now towards this up. You're more not balanced, it's more inclined already. Because yeah, sorry, I said, in, I said in, in, I'm more imbalanced. Sorry, uh, imbalance. Imbalance, and it's towards Islam rather than. There's a lot of things. I, I, the, the part of being brought up in it, not so important to me. Yeah. I'm also Chinese, by the way. How? Yes, I can see because your slang is a bit Chinese. You're mixed, mixed Chinese and? Uh, UK. UK. Yeah. yeah, that's what I see. You're, because you, your slang is not exactly like a European or Westerner. You have some Chinese slang. Oh, yeah. Of course, <laughs> yeah, I haven't grown up with my father, yeah. Definitely. So your father's side is a Chinese? Yes, yeah, Chinese, yeah. Okay. So meaning uh, from the Christian side is your mom? Yes. Based on what you have said, you know you have the sincerity. You are 85% and you're talking about 15% of more about practice, which will come later. Yeah. Most of it. Yeah. Anything else that we can assist you? I mean, to your journey. Uh, can I share my number with you as well? Sure. So, it'll be nice as I train this. Then if I have questions, I can immediately just... Because that's one thing that's been lacking is I can't just ask someone. Okay. Right? You're most welcome. So, I will catch up with you. Yeah. No, it's been very nice. No, it's been very oh, nice. Yeah. But uh, inshallah, okay. I have a conviction. Next time we meet, your questions, you will get your, the right answer that you want. I'll bring my notebook next time with the question. And you will convert yourself. <laughs> right? Yeah.